So let's talk about a Ned Rig. In my hand, I have three hooks, all of which are gonna help you hook more fish, lose less Ned Rigs in and around cover, and get to deeper Ned Rig fish than you ever thought possible. I'm talking fishing Ned Rigs in upwards of 40 and 50 feet. So you're not gonna wanna miss this video if you wanna know everything there is to know about that little guy right here, because at the end of this video, I'm gonna talk about how I modify this little guy to catch more fish that you can see looking at your Ned Rig but won't eat it. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this video. So when Z-Man first came out with the Ned Rig, it really blew up. I was just at the factory looking over all of the ways they make the Ned Rigs and whatnot and all their Elastec plastic, and it really blew my mind how many of these things they ship around the country and worldwide, and how many different people use them for all the different species. It's blown up in saltwater, it's blown up in freshwater, but it's notably known as one of the best bass lures out there today. And basically it doesn't even look like anything, right? My best way to describe it is it looks like everything and nothing all at the exact same time, which is why fish absolutely love it. And so the hotter it got, the more places people were trying to throw it. They're flipping it in laydowns, they're throwing it on drop shots, they're doing, you know, everything physically possible with it. And so that came about with different problems. People started losing Ned Rigs because they're fishing it around brush, they're fishing it around grass. It's getting hung up and it's a finesse bait, so you're losing them. You know, people are trying to fish these things in super, super deep water. So people had to come out with different hooks to make these work in all of these different environments. And that's what I really want to talk about. And so the first hook that I'll throw is the Trocar Tungsten Net Hook. That's the first one that I go with. It's your standard Ned Rig hook. And the reason that I throw it is because they have that triangle shaped hook point that penetrates so much easier than every other Ned Rig hook out there on the market. If you don't believe me, give it a shot. Just buy one pack of them, check it out. I'll have them all linked down below. But the penetration you get on that is so much easier because how many times have you hooked a fish on a net rig and it jumps one time and you lose it? I guarantee you everybody watching this video just raise your hand because it's happened to every single one of us. And so when I feel a bite, all I do for the hook set is I reel and lean with a fairly flimsy rod and that trocar, whatever the name of this, this tungsten net head, just berries in the roof of their mouth every single time. So that's the first hook that I go with. Now, if you're fishing around cover, Z-Man actually came out with a Ned Rig EWG hook. It's actually super, super sweet. And so they kind of took a couple different components to a whole new level. See, I can't even get it off the dang hook. So the way this hook works is it's an EWG built into a Ned Rig style head. They have a little lead keeper on there. And what you can do with this bait when you rig it is you just insert about a quarter inch of the bait, bring it up, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it up past that little piece right there, that little lead notch, and then you just texpose the bait, just like so. And so you still get that same stand-up presentation that you would normally get with a Ned Rig, but now what you have is you have a weedless version of it. You see, I can't even hook my finger on that. So now you can throw it in a lot of other places. The only thing I will caution you with this is I'm going to upsize my leader a little bit. Obviously, you're throwing it around cover, so that doesn't matter as much. I go to 10-pound fluorocarbon specifically. I like to fish it braid to a leader. I like that Cortland Master Braid in that high-vis yellow. And what I'll do is I'll actually take this point, take a pair of pliers, and I will actually bend it up just a smidge. And I have these Fish USA pliers. I will just take and tweak that up just a skosh because what that'll do is that'll actually increase your hookup ratio immensely. And all I'm doing is taking that hook point from looking like this to looking like this where it's laying flat on that hook. And I'm telling you, you'll be amazed at how many more fish you catch just by doing that. And it doesn't change the weedless profile of it even a little bit. As soon as you texpose that like that, you're still good to go right there, but it's gonna increase your hookup ratio. But now you can throw this bait around every single type of cover. You know, they make it up to, I think, a fifth ounce, which is almost a quarter. So you can kind of still fish it around all the stuff you wanna fish it around. The next hook that they came out with was Z-Man also came out with the football neds. And there's a lot of other companies that came out with the exact same thing. Uh, every company now pretty much makes a heavy Ned Rig head that has a football style head on it. And that works really good when you're up on the Great Lakes, when you're up smallmouth fishing, or even for deep spotted bass when you're really trying to get around them. But that football head just helps that bait crawl through rock specifically. And uh, one of the baits that I still throw is still that Trocar Tungsten Ned Rig head because it's that tungsten so it's a smaller profile and gets down better. But these football Neds come up to like a 3 8 ounce which is great for when you're fishing super, super deep and you're dragging it, you're fishing in current, you're trying to get down to those super deep fish. It just makes for ease of access when you're trying to fish for those fish. 
And you'll notice I have three different color Ned rigs in my hand because these are the, pretty much the three colors that I throw. I go with the deal because it's an amazing color because everything on the bottom has a dark back and a light belly. I go with green pumpkin purple because it has a lot of gold flakes in there and that purple and when you move it, it shimmers a little bit and it looks just like a goby, it looks just like a crayfish. And then a sleeper color is going to be that copper truce. If I get a little bit dingy water when I'm around smallmouth, everybody knows how much smallmouth love chartreuse, those fish are going to absolutely smash this. When you get a little bit dingy water, first thing in the morning, late in the evening, when you get low light, overcast conditions, do not sleep on that color. And again, I'll have all those linked down below as always. Now, I did promise to talk about something that I do to a Ned Rig that I kind of changes the entire game with it. And if you listen, I add a rattle. And you might be saying, well, Guggen already came out with a rattling Ned. That's right. But the Guggen model doesn't do this. It tears. And it's you catch one fish on it and it gets trashed. Well, what Z-Man did is they came out with the Rattlesnaker which is a way to insert a rattle into any Elastec bait. And so all you have to do now is insert this needle into the bait. You just take this, insert the needle into the bait, put the rattle in the top, use the little plunger, push the rattle in, and then you have that rattle locked in there. So you can put a rattle into virtually any bait that you want to now. It works extremely, extremely well on Elastec baits. But what I like to do is I insert it into the tip of the tail for the sole reason that you can see how much is hanging off of that Ned rig right there from the hook. So when I shake it, when I'm sitting there and those fish are watching and if I watch them go down on live scope or if I know there's a group of fish there, I can sit there and just shake my rod and that bait will be down there barely moving, but it also rattles now. And those fish get so incredibly curious as to why it's rattling and why it's making sound that it's like night and day difference with how easily they'll eat it versus how they won't without the rattle. And so that was a huge game changer for me. And you can see literally just how tore up this bait is because I was on Lake Hartwell fishing for spotted bass and I tried it without the rattle and they wouldn't touch it. And I put the rattle in there and it was night and day. They ate it. And I'll have my favorite Ned Rig combo linked down below because I really think the combo that you throw this on changes the game with a Ned Rig. But those are the three hooks that I like to throw. That's the secret that I do with a Ned Rig. And if you guys have any other questions or comments feel free to throw them down below but if you like this video and you want to learn a little bit more about how i do a braid to leader setup and why i think it's advantageous i will have a link up here you can check that video out where i break down my entire spinning combination for how i use braid to a leader and it's going to be a video i don't think you guys are going to want to skimp out on but thank you guys so much for watching god bless and i hope to see you guys in the next video